If you happen to be one of the players who has stuck around with Battlefield 2042, you will have been treated to several very good updates, new maps, reworked maps, better gameplay, improved quality of life. It's really been a nice turnaround for 2042 since its disastrous launch. I mean, there were few games that had worse starts than Battlefield 2042. Maybe Cyberpunk 2077 is the only one in recent memory that I can think of that was worse. Welcome to Jurassic Park. But it has been a pleasant change uh, as of late, and it's been over a year since this game released, and it's 100% oh, a completely different game now. Classes were reintroduced just a couple months back. Season 5 here uh, that you're watching in this reveal trailer is uh, implementing squad management system. Not exactly the way it used to be, but still a welcome addition. Um, well, a welcome revisit to this game. Uh, I reworked Hourglass map that has needed one since the game came out. It was the worst map in the game and very happy to see that one getting a rework. Uh, also new vault weapons. Uh, we're going to see the OP, the OG RPG right here. Um, the G36 is making a comeback as well. So a lot of good things. But the interesting thing that I wanted to talk about mainly today was the introduction of two new specific factions and essentially the camos that will come along with it and is there any potential for this to drive uh, the chance that this game at some point down the road actually goes into faction based gameplay now this is certainly not how it's going to go with the implementation of these two new factions uh at the start of season five as you can see here uh, and the way it's described is one faction is more typical military the other one's a hardened group of survivors essentially um but what i what i'm curious about i guess is that could this be something that if you give players uh you know essentially a free skin for each of these uh for each of these two factions in a year from now let's say if these two factions end up becoming the two main factions of the game could we start seeing you know that worked in i think it would be really cool if they did because it would help to separate the whole there's 12 of the same operator on the battlefield at the same time that would be really nice and even though there would still be multiple operators you would at least have some definite and real separation visually from what you're seeing um like i said i don't i i know that this isn't going to be happening right now when this releases on june 7th however it's worth considering and I, I really hope they do it. Now, you have to consider that there's a lot of money in paying for skins and people buying skins, so it's probably less likely than it is likely, but still kind of fun to maybe contemplate. Hey, listen, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, I really appreciate it if you drop a like, maybe sub to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great week.